What's up guys, today's video is going to be on one of my favorite military videos of all time, Full Metal Jacket. It is by far, I think, one of the most accurate when it comes down to like really portraying what like the boot camp was, Bell, and just the Marine Corps in general, guys. But without further ado, let's get into this reaction. What's your name, scumbag? Sir, Private Brown, sir! Bullshit, from now on you're private... That's what I'm talking about. That's that volume you gotta have. That is what I am freaking talking about. They're rough. Snowball, do you like that name? Sir, yes, sir! Well, there's one thing that you won't like, Private Snowball. They don't serve fried chicken and watermelon on a daily basis in my mess hall. Sir, yes, sir! Now, the drill circus will definitely do that. They will definitely put in, like, some little slick comments to get at you. That is something they would definitely do. John Wayne, is this me? Who said that? Who yep, this will never happen in boot camp. No one will ever speak when they're not spoken to. Uh, they just had to find a reason in the movie to have someone get fucked up and get messed with. But yeah, that will never happen in real life. Fuck said that? Who's the slimy little communist shit twinkle toad cocksucker down here who just signed his own death warrant? Nobody, huh? The very fucking godmother said it. I'm fucking standing. I will PT you all until you fucking die. I'll PT. And that is facts. They do not care. They will PT you all day long. They do not care. And also, if you are thinking like, man, this guy's really good. He's like a really good actor. He's not like 100% acting. He used to be a drill instructor. He was actually a former Marine. So that drill instructor is actually, was actually a drill instructor in real life. That's why he's so good. That's why I love this freaking movie. You would take your asshole for sucking buttermilk. Was it you, you scroungy little fuck, huh? Sir, no, sir. You little piece of shit, you look like a fucking worm. I bet it was you. Sir, no, sir. Sir, I said it, sir. Well, no shit. What have we got here? A fucking comedian, private joker. I admire your honesty. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <clears throat> yeah, so that'll never happen. They'll never hit you. Also, if... The drill instructor like attaches himself to you, so if he likes you, if any drill instructor like you, you're gonna get fucked with the entire time. It's not because like they hate you. If they if they like you, then it's it's a good thing. They're gonna you know mess with you the most because they want you to you know get the most out of boot camp that you can get. So, but if they do like you and like you get attached, like they get attached to you the first like day, yeah, you, that's it. That's over for you. You're just gonna get messed with the entire time, just more than everyone else if they like you. You little scumbag. I got your name. I got your ass. You will not laugh. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. Now get up. Get on your feet. You had best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and shit down your neck. Hey, bro, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. How tall are you, private? Sir, five foot nine, sir. Five foot nine. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. You trying to squeeze an inch in on me somewhere, huh? Sir, no, sir! Bullshit, it looks to me like the best part of you ran down to crack your mama's ass and ended up as a brown stain on the mattress. I think you've been cheating. Now, that's, that's the type of shit they do. They will say some of the funniest shit ever, and you can't laugh. It's one of the worst parts. Like, they will show up roast someone all day long, and it'd be like some creative shit, and it should be funny as hell. I, I, it should, I'm telling you. It, it's gonna be, you're gonna have a lot of moments in boot camp where you wanna just... Like, cry laughing, but you can't. It's just funny, so. Where in hell are you from anyway, Private? Sir, Texas, sir! Holy dog shit, Texas, only steers and queers come from Texas, Private Cowboy. And you don't much look like a steer to me, so that kind of narrows it down. Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir! Are you a Peter Pupper? Sir, no, sir! I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. I'll be watching you. Parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. What's your name, fat body? Sir, Leonard Lawrence, sir. La Damn, got his ass. Lawrence, Lawrence, what, of Arabia? Sir, no, sir. That name sounds like royalty. Are you royalty? Sir, no, sir. Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir. Bullshit, I'll bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Sir, no, sir. I don't like the name Lawrence. Only faggots and sailors are called Lawrence. From now on, you're Gomer Pyle. Sir, yes, sir. Do you think I'm cute, Private Pyle? Do you think I'm funny? Sir, no, sir. Then wipe that disgusting grin off your face. Sir, yes, sir. Well, any fucking time, sweetheart. 
Sir, I'm trying, sir. Private Pyle, I'm going to give you three seconds. Exactly three fucking seconds to wipe that stupid-looking grin off your face or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One. Yeah, get him, get him. Two. Three. So I can't help it. Oh, shit. Get on your knees, scumbag. Now choke yourself. What you're about to watch is considered hazing. This is what hazing is. Are you through grinning? Sir, yes, sir. Bullshit, I can't hear you. Sir, yes, sir. Bullshit, I still can't hear you. Sound off like you've got a pair. Sir, yes, sir. That's enough. Get on your feet. Ah, shoulder. Private Pile, what are you trying to do to my beloved car? Sir, I don't know, sir. You are dumb, Private Pile, but do you expect me to believe that you don't know left from right? Sir, no, sir. Then you did that on purpose. You want to be... This is one thing a lot of drill soldiers are passionate about. They love drill. They're in love with drill. Also, it's because they get graded on drill. So, like, make sure you just pay attention when they're teaching drill. Do not fuck it up because you, you will get fucked up. You fuck up their drill. Be different. Sir, no, sir. All right, what you're about to see is a little extreme. This is not going to happen, but it is kind of funny. What side was that, Private Pile? Sir, left side, sir. Are you sure, Private Pile? Sir, yes, sir. What side was that, Private Pile? Sir, right side, sir. Don't fuck with me again, Pile. Pick up your fucking cover. Tonight, your pukes will sleep with your rifle. They will give your rifle a girl's name. Yo, this is like, this is why I love this movie. It's like spot on. Like the towel set up, how they like set on the racks, rack set up, everything like is almost like spot on. Like this, this movie got it. This movie did a good job with trying to like make it as accurate as possible. Because this is the only pussy you people are going to get. Your days of finger banging old Mary Jane Rottencrotch through her pretty pink panties are over. You're married to this piece this weapon of iron and wood, and you will be faithful. This is my rifle, this is my gun. This is for fighting, this is for fun. This is my rifle, this is my gun. This is for fighting, this is for fun. This is my rifle, this is my gun. This is for fighting, this is for fun. Quickly, get your fat ass over there, Prime Pile. Oh, that's right, Private Pile. Don't make any fucking effort to get up to the top of the fucking obstacle. I'll bet you if there was some pussy up there on top of that obstacle, you could get up there. Good you? All right, uh, if y'all want to make an old course video, uh, just leave some comments down below. I'll make an old course video. But guys, like, yeah, that's what I try to tell you. Be in the best shape. One, they will roast you if you're fat. Two, if you just can't give her anything, I'm telling you, they are going to, like, just be on your ass the entire time, guys. So like take take this time you have before boot camp. If you you have a little minute, take time, get in shape. You know, just just get in shape because I'm telling you, it is funny and it's gonna suck for you if you're the one like like private like pal here like uh just being messed with the whole time because he can't do anything. He's like too fat, can't work out. Like you don't want that. You don't want those problems. Boot camp is already stressful as it is. So just take the time and get in shape. But if y'all want to see that old course video, just leave it down in the comments down below. Looks like about 150 pounds of chewed bubble gum pile. You know that? Science, sir! One for the Commandant. One for the Corps. Get up there. Pull! I guess the Corps don't get theirs. Get up there, pile! Pull! Pull, pile, pull! One pull up, pile! Come on, pull! You gotta be shitting me, pile! Get your ass up there! Do you mean to tell me that you cannot do one single pull-up? You are a worthless piece of shit, pile! Get out of my face! One, they won't even let you go to a boot camp if you can't do one pull-up. But guys, if y'all want to see how to properly do everything that you need to do for the PFT, pull-up, crunches, freaking the plank, push-up, whatever, if you want to see that, also leave that down in the comments down below, and I will definitely make that video for y'all. Get up there, snowball! Boy! Quickly, move it out, move it out, pile, move it out. You climb obstacles like old people fuck. You know that, private pile. 
Hey, and I'm not gonna lie, that like the tall like log off course that you gotta crawl up. I'm not gonna lie, that shit slick kind of scary because that shit gets high as fuck. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, that I don't know, like it's just a whole different type of level, man. I was like, I was moving that slow. I was hugging on to each log like my life depended on it because there's, no, there's like no nest to catch you. So if you fall, you just hit the ground. So that's just pretty scary. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the fuck is that? Sir, jelly donut, sir. A jelly donut? Sir, yes, sir. Two, from now on, whenever Private Pile fucks up, I... So when it comes down to sneaking food back, there's always going to be one that does it. People will sneak back peanut butter packets. But if you get caught, you will get dropped. They will, like, definitely fuck you up and drop you, and you'll be set back some weeks. So I just wouldn't do it at all. Just eat as much as you can while you're in the child hall. I don't. I wouldn't sneak back anything. But there's always going to be those onesies and twosies that try to sneak back some peanut butter and they just like flush them down the toilet at night. But I just, like I said, I wouldn't do it. Don't even risk it. I will not punish him. I will punish all of you. And the way I see it, ladies, you owe me for one jelly donut. Now get on your faces. Open your mouth. They're paying for it. You eat it. All right, I just want to say viewer discretion is advised. What you're about to see is really extreme. This will never freaking happen. This is like the extreme of the extreme. This is complete 100% wrong. Like, I never, ever would I ever think about doing this to someone. But I have to let you know what you're about to see might be extreme to some people. But just letting you know this will never happen. But, yeah. Look, I just want to put this out there. Let that have happened to me. I swear to God, the closest person to me would have fucking died. I would have fucked that bitch up. So, yeah, I'm just got to put that one out there. Outstanding, Private Pile. I think we finally found something that you do well. Sorry, yes, sir. This is also one of those moments your discretion is advised this is also very extreme this will never this scenario will never happen in boot camp like ever ever this would not happen uh, I just want to let you know this is very extreme um, yeah so just be warned So the reason why this would never happen, you would never ever have any ammo on you after you leave the range. You wouldn't you wouldn't be able to have freaking ammo in the squad base. So that's why that would never happen. They make sure of it. So yeah, you don't gotta worry about this situation happening. Now you listen to me, Private Pile. And you listen good. I want that weapon. And I want it now. You will place that rifle on the deck at your feet and step back away from it. <sighs> what is your major malfunction, numbnuts? Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? That's why this man's so good at this part. That's why this movie's so good. 
He went out, still roasting them. Like that's some that's some Marine Corps type shit. Like a Marine would do that. They would still roast you, even though they knew you about like know they about to die. If you have a weak stomach, I would turn your head now. Uh, yeah, just turn your head. This is about to be really gruesome. Turn your head. No! All right, guys. So there's the Full Metal Jacket uh, reaction. If y'all are liking all the reaction videos, leave the comments down in the comments. Let me know what y'all wanted me to react to next, guys. So if you like the video, always, guys, give it a thumbs up, guys. Also, can consider hitting the subscribe button, guys. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,